Hey guys, and welcome back to the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing quick, beginner-friendly patterns that are perfect for gifting or decorating your house during the holidays. Today, we're gonna learn how to crochet this chunky blanket for beginners, and it's quick and easy. If you're excited about the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. For today's tutorial, you will need one giant cake of Lion Brand Cover Story. I'm using the color Oro. You will also need an 11.5 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. To get started, we're going to create a slip knot and chain 52. Once you have your chain of 52, we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from your hook and each chain down. So to half double crochet, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the third chain. So we have one, two, three. Insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now half double crochet in each chain across. Now for row two, you're going to chain two and turn your work. And similar to how we did the rectangle shawl a couple days ago, we're going to place a half double crochet in between each post. So we're not going through the tops of the stitches, we're just going through the center of the post. So yarn over and insert your hook into this middle section. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through three. Now do the same in between the next posts and in between each post down the row. I love working in between posts for two different reasons. The first reason is that it makes the project work up faster. And the second reason is if we have a novelty yarn similar to this, or even fuzzier, it makes it a lot easier to use that yarn because you're not worried about trying to find the top of the stitch. So anytime I have a novelty yarn, this is what I do. Once you reach the end of the row, you'll have your last half double crochet and the chain two that we skipped at the beginning of the chain. Place your last half double crochet in between both of those stitches. Now chain two and turn your work. Now for rows three through 53, we're just going to repeat row two. And if your gauge is similar to mine, your finished blanket should be about 36 inches wide and 46 inches long. Now, once you reach your last row, row 53, you're going to cut your yarn, leaving a long tail so you can weave in your ends and tie off your work. Now, I chose not to create a border around it because I'm not a very big border person, but if you have wonky edges or you just wanna create a border, you can create a simple single crochet border, but you will need more yarn if you decide to do that. I was a little disappointed that this yarn only made a 36 by 46 inch blanket. So if you'd like to make a bigger blanket, you'll definitely have to purchase another cake. But to me, this is the perfect lapkan size, as long as you're not like six foot tall. I'm only 5'3", so it works for me. <laughs> But inside the premium PDF, I've put together a full table with all blanket sizes and the yardage you'll need for each. All right, that's it for this chunky crochet blanket pattern. Tag me on Instagram at Sigoni Macaroni or inside the Facebook group with all of your makes. And remember that over the next few days, I'm going to be sharing a quick beginner friendly giftable pattern for the 12 days of crochet Christmas. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. I'll see you in the next one.